Police have released the name of the man who was killed when a tree fell on his car Monday. Joseph Mull of Lowell was 32. Neighbors tell us they'd been complaining about the tree to the Clinton County Road Commission, but nothing was ever done about it. Yesterday, the Road Commission told us it's not responsible for trees that aren't in the road. So today, Fox 47's Megan Heiler dug into state law to find out if that's true. The right of way is the same for every county. Counties or road commissions can remove a tree or another hazard from up to 33 feet from the center line of the road. Now counties can use their own discretion when it comes to making these decisions. Jackson County handles it by a case by case basis. We always do an investigation of it and we go out and look at it and uh, if we see any concerns at all then we'll get it removed as soon as we can. In other words, when it comes to trees on someone's property, counties have the last say whether or not it's removed. That's thanks to the McNitt Act of 1931. It's really their responsibility. Um, but if we feel that it's going to be a danger to the motoring public, then we have the right to remove it and can. We have jurisdiction. Jackson County considers a tree dangerous if it's hanging in the road, if it looks like it's going to fall, or if it's dead. Clinton County, where the accident happened, says that it's not typically in the tree removal business. And that was Megan Heiler reporting for us there. We checked with the County Road Association of Michigan, which represents the road commissions and departments in all 83 counties in our state. Its director would not comment on this story.